both of the video that you gave yeah yesterday. both of these articles the two articles which i have recommended to read for today's class both of these articles actually deal with the question of resource deprivation and its direct link with the violence against women. So the first one is women witch hunting and enclosures in Africa today, not only in Africa, but in a significant part of the South Asian societies, such as in India, even in Bangladesh's rural areas, in countries like Nepal and other. You know, the majority of the women, they often, Tomar Hotse, targeted as something they are the witch hunting hey, targeted as something in Bangladeshi context dini in Bangladeshi context you can uh, money what kind of uh, uh, over the last two to three three years what you have noticed in Bangladeshi context that a myriad of people they are the direct victim of mob lynching so what is mob lynching Zara Do you know what is mob lynching? No, sir. Mob lynching key. What is mob lynching? Sir, it's a group of furious people willing to kill somebody. Okay. I don't know Jay, whether you heard a common rhetoric in Bangladeshi context that for inauguration of what the breeze, you need to sacrifice the head, head of lay people. Shunichana? Yes, sir. We heard mm -hmm. that. Yes, sir. And you know, following that rhetoric and following that rumors, media people from all walks of the country, they can so And just next to my house, what I had I had noticed just what I have noticed that a woman Tomar Hotse just went to admit her own girl to the school and she was the victim of the mob lynching as something she 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 chile dora and i'm sure not them right is something like this yes sir yes sir Uttar yes sir Uttar so Uttar it was Uttar not something like this yeah yes is a shahjat pure oi dike i'm pray jai oi dike so what i have noticed so this kind of incidents in bangladeshi context though it is not tomar hotse prevail in forms of which hunting mane it works in form of different kinds of rhetoric, such as AJ Chiledora or other kinds. But in Indian context and specifically in, in African context, women usually they are accused of being witches and killed or maimed or chased out of their communities. Clear? And this is one kind of rampant violations and rampant violence against women. I don't know whether you heard this kind of narratives in rural areas in Bangladesh. Have you heard this kind of issue? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. 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 In all walks of life, everywhere you will get tabis or this kind of so when a kind of jadu tona, this kind of normal incident. Even three or four weeks back, I visited Bihari camp in Minfur, and what I have noticed that many of my interviewees they told me, I asked them why you have migrated from India to Bangladesh before 1971. Many of them they told me that they are many they have migrated because of communal violence, but a significant part of them they replied that they were in fear of so called Jadutona, so called money question of witch hunting people from money ajam gore people from uttar pradesh they migrated from uttar pradesh to dhaka because of what because they are worried that their forefathers or their relatives may would be died because of this so kind of jadutona money tarabul to say jadutona could be prevail in their own societies when this kind of practices the jadutona hobby jadutona the air tomorrow to say manush came in a film way I don't know whether you heard this kind of incidents, though these kinds of incidents not money rampant in Bangladeshi society. That is why many of us are not aware of it. Actually. Bangladesh society to rampant. Maybe Dhaka Shahar Dike or Tuta Rukum Habe Hoina, but Gramma Dike 
প্রচুর হয় না না ঢাকা শহরে যে হয় না দ্যাট ইজ রিয়েলি রং স্যার হয় কিন্তু কম্প্যারেটিভলি কম হয় কিন্তু নো 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 আই এম আই কমপ্লিটলি ডিসএগ্রি ইয়াসমিন ইফ ইউ গো থ্রু দা রোডস অফ ঢাকা সিটি ঢাকা সিটিতে এলিট ক্লাস কতটুক থিংক अबाउट आवरसेल्फ আমরা তো আপার এন্ড এলিট মিডল ক্লাস আমরা আপার এন্ড মিডল ক্লাস কতটুক ম্যাক্সিমাম 1 টু 2% অফ টোটাল পপুলেশন অফ ঢাকা সিটিস ম্যাক্সিমাম maximum and we actually we are not aware of the day life every day life of the lay people of the dhaka dealers actually bujhcho tumi rastar more more dekhba kobiraj jadu tona pantana forget about the tomar hocche eta nam ki street stika think about the tomar hocche local journal local newspapers you will you will see this kind of available at advertisement jekhane available ache je नाम सुने एक्सक्यूज मी आमार होते हैं ये जे इलेक्ट्रिसिटी चला गया सर सॉरी शोना जाता है कौन जी सर शोना जाता है यस्मीन अकौन यस सर यस कैन यू हियर मी यस यस आशा करूँगा जाता है हमारे यस सर शोना जाता है कौन जी सर आनुष कैन यू हियर मी কথা শোনা যাচ্ছে Yes sir I can hear you Yes sir আচ্ছা শোনা যাচ্ছে আমাকে Yes sir Yes sir we can hear you আমি তো শুনছি না তোমাদেরকে স্যার শোনা যাচ্ছে না মানে সবাই শুনতে পাচ্ছে Apology যে আমার হচ্ছে ইলেকট্রিসিটি গন I have reconnected via मैगजीन this is also something kind of rampant practices in bangladeshi societies but what which is not rampant je hocche rampant which hunting jeta bangladesh society te that is not well mane practiced but parts of african societies even in indian societies this is one kind of rampant violence ha e je jadu tona ebong jadu tona they are mostly targeted ekhon asho okay so beliefs in so called jadutona or believes in so called which mane which types of issues or mane ejer shonge development er relation ta ki why a large chunk of people in bangladeshi context during 2018 and 2019 sacrificed in the name of the so called podda breeze egulo dekho je ekta ekta shonge ekta relationship ache the author federici actually tried to tomar hocche connect the loop holes between the development question the economic order as well as tomar hocche which hunting clear clear yasmin ji sir okay important issue is that have you mane uh, was the video which one i have already forwarded to you in last night tomar ke ekta video diyechhilam kenya te kichu me they were the direct victim of which hunting have you watched the videos मैसेजर 
So the author in this article actually tried to explore the current persecution of witches, which is rooted in the intense social crisis that economic liberalization has produced in much of the world to the extent that it is stripped entire populations of their means of subsistence. There is evidence, for instance, that many Huichans are linked to the breakdown of communal land ownership patterns and the land privatization that uh, drives the, that so-called neoliberal economies have prescribed. Okay, Jai Hook. So in this paper, actually the author tr tried to explore that the notion of witch hunting, it is something Western phenomena. You have already noticed from myriad kinds of movies, documentaries of Western societies that a number of women in Western societies, they're the targeted killing hey, in the name of witch hunting since 13th century to 17th century. Hey, in whole over the Europe, you may heard the name of the Joan of Arc and myriad of women who are the most targeted. And all these things, I mean, is a witch hunting, Tomar Hotse, is a fogrom mostly operated and implemented by the Afa class, by the Ja, Etanamki, Etanamki Hotse, clerks, hey, within the societies. But what actually Tomar Hotse, the notion of which hunting in African societies and in Indian societies, that is not, not the upper classes people or upper classes women, rather these are the lower classes women, Dalits women, aged women, they don't have any reproductivity capabilities. They are the most targeted people of so-called witch hunting for group. Clear? Clear? G, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So this is actually the many lower class people in, in these societies. And another thing is that though the Tomar Hotse, the prevalence of witch hunting, it was something common in Western societies before the colonial period. Tomar Hotse, a, the example or the documentation of these kinds of in, incidents in South Asian societies, even in African societies, it was not even rampant. I'm the society the Kokunui never ever you will heard that before Second World War or before the colonial period, someone or the targeted because of the so-called witch hunting program or something like this. Rather, it doesn't mean that Amadere can so-called Jadutona, Bantona, it Chirona, it was not like that. Rather, within our own societies, there are negotiations, debates, arguments among the people, and those who I mean, if someone accused of this kind of issues. Take society the mostly stereotyped or mostly it isolated or socially take cautious warning But it was not something that they were subjected to mane, killing or something like this. Hey, they are not something that it was not something the issue of the murder or something like this. Clear? Clear? Yasmin? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, it doesn't mean someone killed or assassinated because of this kind of witch hunting. Rather, they are worn within the societies or something maramari hoto. Then, the question is why the phenomena of witch hunting became more prevalent following 1980s and 90s? The author actually tried to intervene in this in this aspect. And she tried to explore that it was the 1970s, 80s, and 90s when the World Bank and a new economic world order created all over the world. And through the prescription of Western societies, the so-called neoliberal economic policies when it started to implement in most of the Tomar Hotse, most of the parts of South Asian societies, it created unemployment, created uneven situation condition hey, tar tyranny in the everyday life of the people. So Chinta got to think about the African societies. Jokon African society, they think about the Kenya. That is why I just ask you to watch the documentary which I have forwarded yesterday night. That was just three minutes video. I mean, to cover, please watch it in your off time. And think about what actually happened in Kenyan societies or Kenyan perspectives. Think about the young generations, they are mostly unemployed. 
and think about the women majority of them tomar hocche tomar eje through the so called in mane invention of so called reproductive technologies or something blah 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 majority of the women they lost their reproductive tomar hocche capabilities bujho jinish ta what actually happened yes sir tar por hocche tader kono they don't have any children and mane mostly they are socially stigmatized first second hocche think about the everyday life of the women in rural areas and specifically in forest parts of indian societies and kenyan societies you know the rampant practices of polygamy in those societies often lead to jealousy often lead to tomar hocche etar naam ki ekta one kind of competition ha among the wives among the women itself abong hocche reclaiming over the properties also create uncertainty yeah, within the everyday life of the people so those who have properties those who do not have any children those who have one kind of competition with other people in the societies chinta koro society to already the society already divided so in that moment it is all these kinds of tomar hocche division all these kinds of tomar hocche competition all these kinds of मानुषर मध्यमें so when mane western world they started to implement new liberal policies it creates such kind of tyrannic condition within tomar the forest part of african societies and indian societies and when women they don't have this kind of capabilities they are mostly targeted of the so called witch hunting bola hoto je tader image jehetu er bachcha kaccha hoy na because she is aged 60 60 or 70 years Hey, she did something that is why hey, it is the mis misfortune for our family, misfortune for our community, and they are mostly targeted of this kind of witch hunting. What you think, Mr. Mashaik? Clear? Actually, sir, sir, ये देखिए कि sacrifice कोड़े दया हुई तो मैंने मेरे फलन हुई तो it is something like that. मैंने people argue that oh my god, these women she did so called jadu tona or so called hey. Hey, something which is something to me which is unacceptable, hey, even unacceptable within the society. And she did something only for her deed. Someone died. So suddenly the case just mara gaye. Then, I mean, it was something blamed that that I mean, she died or he died only because of that woman, because she did so called mantuna or something like this. Clear? Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, Masha, can you read it out for us? प्रेसिडेंशियल guard and driven to camps where they were forced to drink poisonous beverages the detainees were charged with witchcraft in malaysia muslim clerics are calling for anti witchcraft laws arguing that robbers use magic spells moreover anthropologists have noted a new tendency among african politicians to use magical claims to project political power ever since the early 1990s these examples suggest a transformation in the language and tools of power of which the revamping of religion as a means of political legitimation is clearly a part but they still belong to a different category than the broad campaigns against which as that have developed in the last 3 decades and which appear as a veritable war against women exact okay, figures okay, are like according to you and i can't think according to you and According to a UN report, 2,500 killings were recorded in India between 1987 and 2003. But it is agreed that the actual figure is is much higher, and that many more women were tortured, maimed, 
traumatized for life. Hundreds of attacks on witches have also been reported in Nepal, Papua New Guinea, more recently East Timor, and in parts of South America. So, okay, in Africa, many attacks on witches? In Africa, many attacks on witches are carried out at night by groups of vigilantes, usually composed of young men and acting under cover of darkness. But witch hunts are also very public events perpetrated in full daylight. A recent attack on five people accused of being witches in the Kisi region of Kenya was video recorded and can be seen on YouTube. Which in I have already case... forwarded. Which I have already forwarded. So, Chinda Koro, think about money, how rampant the practices of witch hunting in in majority of part of parts of the world, and think about jeta. Uh, oh, what we have discussed in Bangladeshi context, je, tomar hotse, in the name of so-called magic, women are mostly targeted. Why mostly targeted? Uh, we will discuss it in later part. Uh, 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 witch hunting and primitive acu 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 accumulation. So a renowned anthropologist named Ogembo, she worked on the witch hunting in Kenya and she argued that there is a direct link between primitive primitive accumulation and witch hunting. Uh, she argued that, can you read it out from here? Ogembo points out. Ogembo points a finger at the structural adjustment and trade liberalization programs that were introduced in Africa in the mid 1980s by the World Bank and the IMF ostensibly to attract foreign investment and make African labor more competitive on the world market. But instead of being a path to economic development, these programs have so destabilized African communities, so weakened their reproductive systems that many people have become convinced of being the victims of an evil conspiracy. So think about, so is it what we have discussed here, Tomarucha earlier that what actually happened following the implementation of new new liberal policies, majority of the part of the African society and Asian societies destabilized. How it destabilized, you know, through the competition form of economic order, majority of the young people they lost their job. Abong say mostly they don't have enough education, enough employment, competition, inflation everything created one kind of chaos in their everyday life. It also weakened the reproductive system that many people have become convinced of being the victims of evil, evil conspiracy. So people started to assume, oh my God, all these things because of something, shatan or something like this. Clear? Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Then, yes, as Ogumbo Masai clear, carry on. As Ogembo? As Ogembo points out, rising inequalities and mortality rates, the latter due to malnutrition, poor road maintenance, and the spread of AIDS have contributed to fuel the suspicion of foul play. In Gusi, all these factors played a role. In the background of the 1992 to 94 murders, there were the collapse of the price of from one of the two commercial crops grown in the area, an astronomically high unemployment rate following massive retrenchment in the public service sector and the presence of a youth unable to access any form of educational income that's ready to be hired as vigilantes or in paramilitary operations. So, so those who are, who are the perpetrators, think about the Taslima case in Uttar Badda. Who are the perpetrators? Think about the day life of the perpetrators. They are just Tomar Hutche, so called Utshahi Jonata. Hey? I don't know. Hey, they don't have any job. No, sir, not Utshahi Jonata, the frustrated Jonata. Hey, the Utshahi Jonata, they don't have any job. They don't. So think about their everyday life. Think about Tomar, I mean, majority of them are already arrested. And if you go through the Tomar Hutche accused, you will see they are not Tomar well educated, well employed, or something like this. Because the economic order in which they are living, it creates one kind of uncertainty in their life. And they are just moving from here and there, and it creates one kind of vigilance in their own mind. So they're just trying to do policing or something. So they're like, I Think about Think about. Eh? So when someone will beat someone, think about 
last week i had money noticed a video youtube video that someone actor may maybe she was smoking in rajshahi and someone money how she was money brutally assaulted by a person in rajshahi area because of smoking in the public place despite smoking is something tomar hocche unexpected eh? even an, an unaccepted within the public space that is different issue but think about so who actually resist because this is the people those who do not have any job who do not have any employment who do not have enough economic tomar hocche etar naam ki backup so when people they are mostly frustrated they don't have any enough job or something like this they became the vigilant bujhu jinish ta direct link ta so who are the mob lyncher clear yasmin yes yes sir clear yes, so sir. who actually are the mob lyncher so if you go through the mob lynching cases of bangladesh what i have noticed from from last 5 to 10 5 to 6 years data near about more than thousands tomar hocche mob lynching cases already documented in bangladesh and many of them not well documented bujhu jinish ta onek gulo ache not well documented bujhu so who actually are the vigilants so this is the youth people who unable to access any form of education or income thus ready to be hired as vigilants clear 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 yes, sir yes sir okay mashai then at the same time at the same time uh, many accusations are evidently manufactured to rob people of their property and particularly of their land indeed land plays such a key role in the present which hunts that it is tempting to hypothesize that they are primarily a means of land grabbing এখান থেকে typically why can't i this one okay typically women whose hundred husbands have died and who who insists on keeping the land the couple has acquired are accused of being witches by the relatives of the deceased this is as true in africa as in india and nepal especially in religions that have strong patriarchal religions especially in regions that have strong patriarchal traditions and where the wife is never completely integrated to the family structure accusing women of being witches is an easy way to avoid attending to their land claims but the land question is also central to central to the dynamic of witchcraft accusations in a more general sense as international agencies and foreign companies press for privatization and alienation of communal land which has served to break the resistance of communities to land ex- expropriation in marxian terms they are powerful instruments of enclosure as historian as okay, historian thank you, thank you so much thank you so much this one as a matter of fact it it a line tapor important as a matter of fact the villagers are at times so engaged in accusing each other of practicing witchcraft witchcraft that they hardly notice that they are being disposed and have turned into squatters on their own ancestral lands how many yes please carry on how many witchcraft accusation which <clears throat> how many witchcraft accusations which trials which killings fit into this pattern unfortunately the superficial manner in which these persecutions are reported make it difficult to arrive at any definite conclusion an investigation worthy of the magnitude of the crime committed committed would ask what is occurring in the highlands of papua and nepal or in india or in indian epicenters of which which hunting such as the states of bihar Uh, jhakarand and west bengal which which mining and agri business companies are planning operations in these regions and incentive incentivizing the privatization of land yes it is, it is important to note it is important to note that some of the states in india where which hunts are more most intense for example bihar jharkhand chatisgarh and andhra pradesh are sites that have witnessed 
Parthai set up with Nif, uh, with Nif uh, a tremendous impoverishment of the peasantry during the uh, during most uh, mostly as a consequence of the fall of the price of cotton no, and no, other agricultural during products. The decades, during the past decades, with thousands of farmers, uh, during the suicide, during the mostly as a consequence, mostly of the, as a consequence of the fall, of the, fall of, the of the price of cotton, cotton and other agricultural products. So think about what it is. So you can easily relate. Hey? So. The fall of the Marhotre price of the products, hey, which actually produced in those impoverished regions, privatization of the property, as well as the Marhotre international investment in those areas, Tarpor Hutse, Danam Hutse, majority of the people, those who have already deprived of their own land, and and think about the wives, the widows, hey, Tarpor women with many women without any children so think about how a life mostly shaped and reshaped within this kind of neoliberal economic tomar hocche order so so tumi jokhon chinta koro jokhon hocche ei dhoroner ekta uncertainty unemployment ha tomar hocche it mostly prevail in whole over the societies what actually happened people started to realize that the reason behind their tomar hocche grievances behind their foberishment it is something the evil force it is something the conspiracy it is something because of the magic of those women that is why they easily target the women actually clear clear ji sir uthu janish ta and the same thing what actually happened in mane tomar hocche in relation to the children and in relation to the women in 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 many parts of kenya and in many parts of the african societies there is also a direct link of the pentecostalism pentecostalism it is a sect of christianity and it is many pentecostalistic pentecostal jeta clark jara chilo ha tara hote they manufactured the consent je hote the women the children those who are involved in magic related tomar hocche ha tomar hocche jobs or services ha because of their activities ha the people of those areas they are being him for his day by day that is why they always tomar hocche eta nam they instigate the people ha mane manushoder ke the way they instigated the people again is them it often lead to which mane one kind of witch hunting in those societies okay okay clear okay yes sir ji yes, sir okay now the important one which hunting why women are mostly targeted ei part ta sobcheye important ami jeta dekhechi so ei part ta i need to go through every, many uh, okay so as we have seen which hunting has a spare neither man nor women nor children mane think about amader ekhane mob lynching women men children all of mane all of them are mostly targeted ha nevertheless there is no doubt that those most frequently attacked had been women however jodi jodi despite male and children they are being targeted the rampant targeted people are mostly the women and in particular lower class and in elderly women in africa most are farmers is well single living alone but in the urban areas traders have also been targeted accused by man who clearly perceived them as a as competitors sorry can you hear me right now yes sir faiza can you hear me faiza yes sir okay yes sir okay thank you sorry ki jani ekta phone e call dilo oh my god okay so we are already out of that to mar hotse the target of the mob lynching or witch hunting it could be women men children but the majority of the tomar hote targeted people they are mostly the women and in african most of them are mostly the farmers usually single and living alone
But in urban areas, traders have also been targeted, accused by men who clearly perceive them as competitors and and a threat to their power. Lower class women are also the primary victims in India and Nepal. There can be little doubt that the abuses inflicted on witches serve to discipline all women, thereby yeah, preventing them from asserting their rights. So it is something to try, they are trying to, I mean, they try to discipline the women, hey? because these women, they are not docile, they are doing magic, hey? and they're targeting the people, they are looting the Tomar Hotse properties of the people. So through these kinds of rumors and rhetorics, eh, Tara Hotse, they are targeting the women. Okay, so right, Faiza, can you read it out? The intent to terrorize women? Can you read it out from here? The intent to? Yes, sir. Yes, please. Uh, the intent to terrorize women becomes evident when we consider the punishments inflicted. Thousands of women have been burned, buried alive, hacked to pieces, tortured to death. Shaming rituals are common in Nepal and India. Before being killed, the accused are paraded through the streets, naked, forced to eat excrements and beaten. So think Patriarchal about, I mean, bias. Oh, thank you, thank you, Faisal. So think about before being killed, the accused are paraded through the streets naked forced to eat eh, extremists and beat and think about when, what kind of Tomar Hotse brutality women face before their death. Eh, yes, please carry on. Patriarchal bias. Pfizer, carry on. Yes, sir. Patriarchal bias alone cannot explain such brutality. We can only understand it by taking into account the context of societies in which communal solidarity has disintegrated and new economic relations are being introduced that radically destabilize social reproduction and devalue the social position of women. As land is privatized and monetary relations become hegemonic, women's subsistence activities are no longer perceived as a contribution to the well-being of the community. This is especially true for elderly women who can no longer bear children or provide sexual services and who are thus specially resented, sometimes even by members of their own family, as a drain on available resources. Many elderly women today are persecuted because they're perceived as a dead weight, the embodiment of a world of practices and values increasingly considered sterile and non-productive. Yes, in making this point. Hmm. In making this point, I do not mean um, I do not mean to downplay the importance of the immediate grievances that produce witchcraft accusations. Long-standing rumors compounded by mysterious deaths, land disputes, the desire to appropriate coveted property, anger prompted by adulterous behavior, or the refusal of sexual services. These are the daily substance of the persecutions. In Africa, the structure of the polygamous family foments accusations, creating jealousies and competition among co-wives and siblings with regard to the distribution of the family's assets, especially land. Growing land scarcity in intensifies these conflicts for husbands now for husbands now find it difficult to provide for all their wives and their children. So thank you. So think about the jealousies, Tarpor Hotse, think about the Tomar Hotse, the question of AJ, the resources, lack of resources, competition among co-wives, among the neighbors, among the peoples, how often it lead to Tomar Hotse targeting a, kind, a certain kind of women, especially who are these women? The women who are mostly lonely, the women who do not have any children, the, who, the women who are mostly aged. And people can easily blame them, they did the magic or something like this, and they're more, I mean, often they are mostly targeted of, uh, hey, of so-called Tomar Hotse witch hunting. Clear, Shabai? Yasmin? Clear? Ji, sir. So, so this is something, I mean, last part just actually uh, talked about the feminist 
uh, a struggle fight against this kind of incidents. However, this is not only the feminist issue, this is on, also a kind of issue in Bangladeshi society. The rampant, a mob lynching, the rampant so-called witch hunting, witch hunting in Indian societies mostly and in uh, African societies mostly in the name of witch hunting and also in the name of so-called chiledora or other kinds of magics in Bangladeshi societies. The people from lower classes and especially women, they are mostly targeted among how brutally they are beaten when you are aware of this. So there are direct linkages between Tomar Hutz's so-called new revived economic policies as well as so-called witch hunting. Because before 1980s and 90s, there are not so kind of I mean, such kind of incidents or prevalence of death, mob lynching in our societies. In the name of witch hunting. But why this kind of mob lynching and witch hunting it became so prevalent following 1980s and 90s? Because this is the direct outcome of that so-called new liberal economic policies. Okay. So can our people they argue it for please sacrifice the head for Poddashitu for the bridge. Why? And why? Who are the vigilance? So this is the people, those who are the unemployed, those who do not have any job, those who are mostly tensed, hey, frustrated, frustrated generation because of the new economic new economic world order. Clear? Clear, Faiza? Clear? Yes, sir. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Are clear, sir? Sir, Hello? Sir, 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 No. Actually, data collect No, no. Very limited number of articles on it. Okay. Navila, clear? Navila? Yes, sir. Okay. Yasmin, to be clear? That link is between so called yes, development policies, witch hunting, and the women question. Okay. Mostly in Indian societies and African societies, it is the women who are mostly the targeted of this kind of Tomar Hutse witch hunted policies and programs. So during Middle Ages from 13th to 17th century in Europe, it was the upper class women, it was the women from middle classes. Uh, they are mostly targeted because of their own beliefs. And, and the perpetrators, they are mostly the, from upper class people and perpetrators, they are mostly from the religious backgrounds. But what actually going on in today's world, this is not the upper class perpetrators or the clerics, rather it is the lay people who, who are the vigilants and who are the perpetrators because the economic condition who, I mean, which shaped their reality and which created frustration, instability, uncertainties in their life. Yeah. So, so these kinds of people, they often they become the perpetrators, vigilants, yeah, and operated this kind of brutal activities, okay, in the name of witch hunting. Okay? Okay? Yasmin? Ji, sir. Thank you. So this article mostly, so think about the Kibhabe, the, in the name of so-called new liberal economic policies often lead to uncertainties hey, to women and lay people. Another article, this one, marital violence, human development and women's poverty status in India. So Mashai, can you describe what actually the article deal with? Mashai? Mashai? Who have read the article apart from Mashaik? Anyone? Sumaya, have you read it? Hey, Mashaik, bolo. Sir, Akibul, should I go for the summarization? Uh, yes, summarization. This simple article, not too much tricky at all. Hey. So it was uh, mainly based on the data analysis that the authors uh, started with the hypothesis that uh, if development is the like expansion of human capabilities, then obviously there has to be the integral freedom from domestic violence karon jodi women der proti violence hoy tahole oita freedom er kono ongsho hishebe thakbe na ar speaking of the factors ekhane unara bolechen je one of the most unexplored factors hocche je 
women their status of property rights তো এখানে রিজন হিসেবে সেটা দেখিয়েছে যে একটা ওমেন এমপ্লয়েড থাকতে পারে কিন্তু জাস্ট বিকজ শি ইজ এমপ্লয়েড সেটা তাকে একটা মানে একটা ইমিডিয়েট অপশন ফর এসকেপিং দেয় না কিন্তু যখন তার নিজের একটা ছোট একটা ঘরও থাকে কিংবা একটা ল্যান্ড থাকে তখন তার প্রতি প্রথমত ভায়োলেন্স কমে আসে কিংবা ভায়োলেন্ট যদি তার হাজবেন্ড থাকে তখন তার হাতে মানে বেঁচে যাওয়ার মতো একটা গ্রাউন্ড থাকে সে চলে যেতে পারে সো দিস ইজ সো হাউ ডাস ইট সেকেন্ড ইজ টু মি মেন উইদিন आवर ইন্ডিয়ান সোসাইটিস এন্ড সাউথ এশিয়ান সোসাইটিস জাস্ট গো থ্রু দিস পার্ট এটা একটু হাইলাইট করা যাচ্ছে না একটু ক্যান ইউ রিড ইট আউট মাশাই Yes, sir. Uh, marital violence against women ruptures the myth of the home as a protective space, exposing it as a chamber of terror for many. Okay, it thank you. So many, many of us, we assume that family is a place of compassion, family is a place of love. But hey, violence against women actually it started from the family and violence against women ruptures the myth of the home as a protective space. exposing it as a chamber of terror for many so for many women it is the chamber of the terror yes it is found to devastate that devastate the women uh, it is uh, it is found to devastate the women who suffer it scarred the children who witness it and dehumanize the men who perpetrate it it has negative consequences for individuals their families as well as the wider society as existing research shows it can cause serious physical and mental injury to women and negatively affect their employment situation their overall productivity and their participation in public life violence during pregnancy is associated with miscarriages low birth weight infants maternal morbidity and even fetal and maternal deaths children witnessing domestic violence uh, tend to suffer from higher emotional and behavioral problems than do the other, other children. children so to the but the people those who are mostly দেখবাস human social and economic cost okay ekhon asho in this article bina agarwal actually tried to explore the relationship between resources and violence and she argued that women those who have enough resources the prevalence of violence against them right na it is less our je family gulote those who do not have enough resources often they are targeted ha tomar hocche age because for the lack of resources clear only on a good many thing discussed in this article we'll just go through the results can you go through the results aj mashaik long term violence household economic characteristics yes uh, so should i read it out no 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 can you just explain we don't need to go through enough eh? within five minutes we'll wrap up So what actually she tried to explore in this article, Bina Agarwal? Oh, sorry. In this part, I'm kind of unclear. So why unclear? I... Simple. Higher educational level of both spouses are associated with a systematic lower incidence of violence. J family the both husband and wife they are mostly educated. The prevalence of violence, the degree of violence is in that family automatically it will decline. Hey, eh? physical and psychological. the difference is much greater for physical than for psychological violence and for the rural than for the urban sample also if the wife is less educated than the husband the incidence of physical violence is notably higher in rural rural areas so the family gula the women they, those who have tomar hocche less economic credentiality ha eh? the prevalence of violence against them it is more higher so however for long term psychological violence or the wife is less educated than the husband violence is higher in both rural and urban context hey so psychological ta abar upper class lower class in both families tara hocche tomar hocche they suffer ebong hocche in other cases what actually they are, the article actually tried to explore that the families in which women have enough resources shekhane violence against the violence against them the prevalence of violence against them is much more lower clear actually this is the gist of this article okay 
फाइजा क्लियर एनी क्वेश्चन फाइजा फाइजा एनी क्वेश्चन क्लियर सर ओके सो फ्रॉम टू डेज क्लास एक्चुअली व्हाट वी नोटिस दैट फ्रॉम बोथ ऑफ द आर्टिकल्स इफ वीमेन मैंने lack of resources or tomar hoche properties they mane they are often targeted for violence for killing hey yeah, for other kind of abuses mostly so there is a direct link with violence and tomar hoche resource question okay sumaya clear sumaya yes sir okay yasmin clear so for the final yes, thank you so you have already noticed that the new grading policy of the brack university uh that is why i'm just reiterating again please do not miss the class it will affect your cgpa because you have 10 marks on course distribution so be cautious about this part another thing is that please submit everything accordingly do not be late let submission will deduct your marks okay so those who have already to mane those who have already intended to do a j final essay if you would like to do final essay you would like to write final essay then mane and you have not yet submitted any review please start your final essay okay otherwise you will not be able um, to submit it on ha uh ha -huh. bola faiza sir final essay ta kisher upor hobe you don't need to submit Or you are like... submit you are submitting the reviews you don't need to submit the final essay It is only sir, for I haven't, eh? I haven't submitted a lot of the reviews. I've missed a few, so no, I was hoping no problem, if I no could. No problem. No problem. Final Submit, essay. No, no, you don't need to go through final essay again. That is enough. I mean, that is another thing. Eh? You need to write at least three thousand words. That is tricky enough. Rather, I'm just emphasizing. Okay. Please submit your reviews on time. Okay. Sure, I mean, after that, they should have reviewed them correctly, but check which act is. So I was wondering. I mean, apology to... for that one. The thing is that I have applied to nine universities. Eh? So I'm a whole researcher. I mean, shop kitchen. I was too busy in this semester. It is a bit so. I mean, year year closing. Chilo. I have already finished everything. So I'm a shop kitchen. I have already wrapped up. So I think I will. I will be able to do everything by this Friday. I think, Arki. Hey, I mean, according to media script, Gulu, I have not yet able. I mean, I have not yet forwarded to the students. Our own course, Gulu. The, I mean, too busy. Chilam over the last three weeks. I think I will be able to do everything. I mean, I can free. Hey, guys, motor motor. So, Anusha, so don't be worried about it. Yes, sir. Yeah, you apply to the university, then. Hey, I mean, Gulu, Gulu. I'm not to buy the. I'm not to pass on the shish. Why not? Half down. Is the junior, sir? Hey, 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 hey. So mostly oh. होते हैं। oh, अच्छा आपने ये तो बोलते हैं ना वहाँ के साइंस हब तुम जब आपने आगे कथा बोलते हो सें जब मास्टर से कथा बोलते हैं जब आमियों तो कुर्सी आमी ये तो भाग तो हाँ एक बार एक कथा जो बोलते हैं ये तो बुझते भाई मैं। I just applied just two weeks before जय हो। So होते हैं इधर नाम होते हैं। So जेटा होते हैं तुम्हारे का से आमी जेटा बोलती है Next Saturday, I will take that meet. So those who have missed the meet, jara media presentation the miss kora so one group you have missed that meet. Please, I will take it on next Saturday. So Saturday, how many will we will when we will conduct the class? Convenient sir, time. Sir, Saturday. Sir, Saturday chora presentation. Then he should do that. The presentation will only in our mother normal class. Normal class is showing it. No, normal class to hot chena. Shlo tarik to bondho. Jati bijayi boshna. How can I contact the class? Kuli gisila. So I think I can't. I mean, so shlo shlo tarik it is not convenient for me. Sir, group ek ta. Sir, group ek ta poll create kore diyen. Shobai shobai convenient time te di dilo. That is Saturday tricky, day. tricky for for many of us. Saturday twelve thirty, yeah, class time. Okay, twelve thirty. Okay. Okay, sir. Sir. So, yes. I please. had a question regarding the final. Will we have a written final or? A written final. Like, am I exam dibo with questions and everything, or do we, will that be like a paper? Submission. Or 
not okay. submission i will ask you to write something based on the articles mane what we have discussed in our classes that's it okay so syllabus ki ho be absolutely every article you've given so far because you have given many articles many articles i have given yes sir <laughs> so don't be panic on it i will mane hote precise everything so don't worry about it okay so we will some of the data key us some data i'm not clear, clear. I, i'm not clear okay. maybe register office will inform you okay so don't worry about the mane exam date i will forward the question at least 3 days before okay so that you can take enough preparation for the final exam okay at least 3 to 4 days ahead i will uh, mane i will forward the question paper okay So okay, don't be worried about it. But I'm concerned about you. Tomorrow's a final. If you have not yet read the article, if you have not yet submitted the reviews, hey, missed. So it will. But even if you miss the classes, it will seriously affect your CGPA. I mean, Abar, I'm just warning it again. Okay. So we are mostly done. Amader hotse two part already shesh. Next class we will discuss on the question of Taliban, feminism. Hey. আমাদের এখানে অনেকটা মানে কোশ্চেন শুনবা যে এই যে সো কল ইসলামাইজেশনের কারণে ফেমিন উইমেন ডেভেলপমেন্ট হয় না সো সাবা মাহমুদের একটা ইন্টারেস্টিং আর্টিকেল আছে অন ইট সো আই উইল আই এম ফলোয়িং ইট টু ইউ রাইট নাও আমি এখন দিয়ে দিচ্ছি ওকে নট 4 পিএম ইট ইজ 12:30 ওকে কেন জুলাই কেন জুলাই यस স্যার ওকে জি স্যার আর হচ্ছে প্লিজ সাবমিট ইওর রিভিউজ অন টাইম ওকে इम्पोर्टेंट आर्टिकल So okay. see you on next Saturday, okay? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Shall I? Take care, sir. Take care. Any question? Any anything else? Any queries? Sir, article that I asked you, give me please. Article, I mean. That I reviewed you know, like. It already did this. So, me, tomorrow, I will check Facebook to check for you. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you.